Hi, hello, my name is Kat and this is Whittier Stitches. Welcome to Floss Tube number seven. It's November, y'all. I got my, my Santa stuff started. I took stuff down, all the Halloween decorations down. Halloween night, I was done. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of stuff going on. That was a very busy time, but the kids enjoyed themselves to no end, and that's what it was all about. So once it was over, I was like, done, gone, don't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> um, let's see, what do we have for you today? We have several new starts, a couple whips, or a few whips, I think three. Um, and then a giveaway. Mm -hmm. No haul. Look at me go. No haul. I didn't buy anything this week. Um, that is insane. That's not like me at all. <laughs> but yay! Round of applause for me. Um, that is going to change this week though, however. I have plans to buy lots of stuff, though. I don't really know if it's cross-stitch related. It's project bag related, though. It's neither here nor there. That's not what you're here for. Um, let's get started with whips. Not whips. New starts. <laughs> I am doing new start November for my birthday. Uh, my birthday is November 6th. And so I decided that I was going to start all of the things since I had canceled my weekend trip that I was planning on taking. So I was like, well, I want to do something big. I didn't do anything. Um, like I didn't reschedule anything else when I canceled my plans. So like I didn't, didn't have anything big in mind. So I was like, I'm just going to start everything. Not everything, that'd be way too much. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start a ton of stuff. Um, so I took all of my projects that I own but haven't started, put them all in a big spinning wheel and just smack that wheel whenever I wanna start something. And then of course there were a couple new starts that were gonna be planned in advance. Um, there are two sales. Both of them were supposed to start today, but one actually started yesterday because Bless them, they were too excited to wait, and I, I stand that. I stand that hard, because I was also too excited to wait. Um, but anyways, we're going to go through these new starts in no particular order. They're just whatever order I grab, so here we go. First up, we have Love Bites from Long Dog samplers trying not to pull a kitschy whips <laughs> um this is crazy hamster 14 count ada um also known as oxana on the d stash group um oxana doesn't name her colors i don't think so this is my new start it is my first long dog sampler um, which technically this is one of their, what do they call them? Pe peccadillos? I don't know if I'm saying that right. One of their small projects. Um, I own four of them and this is the first one I've started. So, yes. Love Bites. Look at me doing an alphabet. I hate doing alphabets most of these kinds of things I chop the alphabets off of. <laughs> this one, head over heels, in love, the moment I saw it on Etsy, and I had to talk myself into getting it, I'm cheap. I'm cheap. I'm sorry. I'm cheap. I just am. Um, if a pattern is more than $5, I'm going to go, uh, do I really need it? Uh, I could probably find something similar for around five bucks. There's nothing similar. 
This pattern is a one of a kind. Trust me, I looked. It was worth spending the 13 or $14 on. I am so glad I got it. I am just, yes, head over heels in love. This is of dragons and apples. Um, quad, quad, <laughs> I'm gonna say this so wrong. Oh my gosh. Quaternion Creations, maybe? On Etsy and Instagram, same name on both. Um, so this is, I did not write in the fabric. This is my Amazon fabric, my 18 count white Ada. Um, and this is my start. I've got it all marked out because um, this is one I know I'm gonna mess up on a lot. So we went ahead and gridded the fabric. And guess what, I've already messed up. Right there, you see that spot that looks weirdly white? Yep, I've miscounted in there. I'm just gonna throw a couple stitches in so it doesn't look like a glaring hole. But that's not supposed to be there. That that was a, I counted wrong. Oh well, I'll fix it somehow. I'll fudge it somehow because I sure as the heck ain't frogging it. But so this is my new start on of dragons and apples. This was once ran as a sal, and it was just dragon and apple sal, which I am using that hashtag on Instagram um, uh, and tagging the artist. Um, because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pattern, and I absolutely cannot wait to see more of this. Um, because again, I tell you, it is absolutely worth worth it. That's doesn't look very big, but for 18 count, that's pretty big. Um, in love, impressed. There you go. <clears throat> oh, for that the colors right now I've only got two colors on here I've got the black is DMC 310 um, this purple color right here is most sale Tyrion and then there's also a red accent color you get to um, choose so it's black an accent and then a red so for my red I chose most sales dark ruby I just don't have any of it on here yet <clears throat> We've been waiting on this one. You know it. I know it. I've been dying of impatience since it was announced. And I don't want to hear it about the teeny tiny itty bitty fabric margins. I was aware of what I was getting myself into. And it was worth it in my mind. Ah, look at it! Look at the little cheek! Oh my god, he's so, tall, so tiny. He's so tiny and cute. Look at my little baby dragon. I got a little baby dragon. Look how cute he is. I say, I am adorable. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just, ah, I love it. Um, this is the Pixel Dragon Adventure Sal from Flossy Fox Shop on Etsy and Instagram. And this is on a millennial fabric 18 count Ada in the color Hemlock, which never shows up right on camera. Um, I only have an inch and a half of margin on the top and the sides. I could have given myself more margin on the top, but I would have rather have it been even because this pattern is a rectangle, not a square. So I definitely could have gone further down, but I would rather my margins match. Obviously the bottom's not gonna match, but I will keep that excess fabric for something else. But the first part was released yesterday. It was supposed to come out today but oh gosh don't hold me to it i think flossy fox shop's name is andrea andrea i don't know which way they pronounce it um i'd have to check i'd have to ask i probably should have asked beforehand i'm sorry if i said your name wrong or whichever way was wrong um just correct me but yes so i got the first little baby dragon motif motif done and then I got these two little gold coins, is what I think they are. Done. Um, he, he's so cute! I'm dying. I'm just dying. Um, as I've mentioned before, I love, 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 love Flossy Fox Shops patterns. 
I own a ridiculous amount of them and I've not actually started any of them, which is insane. Um, <clears throat> I had planned on starting all of them during March Madness and then I did not cross stitch at all in March. Um, and I have continued to purchase their patterns since then and I'm part of their Patreon. So I have all of the Patreon patterns. I have so many. And this is the first one I'm actually starting. And like, look at that cute little guy. Arr! All of their patterns are this cute. All of them. I really hope my spinning wheel knocks a few more out for me because oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just so squishy and cute. I'm like, I wanna squeeze it. Okay. Oh goodness, uh, I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. Nothing's wrong with me. I'm excited. I'm allowed to be excited. This is so cute. Okay. That is it for new starts. Woo for this video. We will have a lot more this month. New start November. Hey y'all. You are welcome to join me at any time. We have up now, <laughs> I'm just in a goofy mood this morning, apparently. The Arcana Sal by Uncanny Kari. Booyah! I have an Empress. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous girl. <laughs> um, this is on Charles Craft 18 Count Fiddler Cloth. Um, The next part should be coming out today, I think, maybe. Um, I haven't quite figured out the release schedule yet. I don't know if it's like steady or if I just don't check Patreon often enough um, to know. <laughs> Little man, you okay, buddy? You just got all tangled up in the blanket. You okay? <laughs> My dog just got himself wrapped up in our blanket and then fell off the couch wrapped up in the blanket you okay yeah you goofy doggo you goofy doggo <laughs> anyways so there we are there's our progress super pretty super cool love this one um yes it's wonderful ready for the next release gonna knock it out of the park they take like maybe an hour hour and a half depending on what I'm doing while I'm stitching um, so not too shabby but yeah and this is being stitched with one strand of black anchor and one strand of DMC 336 so like in the house right now it looks black outside in the Sun it looks blue it's pretty cool um, I stitch my car a lot that's the only reason I know that Okay, here we go. The Sims Sampler Sal. Um, I put one length of thread in this and that is it right down here. I put a length of thread in the cow plant um, just because I felt like it and so I did. This sal was done like almost a year ago. <laughs> but here we are. I still have address up here and bone hilda down here to put in so i gotta finish this motif and then i got two more motifs and then i gotta put the year in which originally i was gonna put the year in and then i was like nah because like there's really a chance i'm not gonna finish this in 2023 so let me just not put a year in at all um but yeah just quick little through that that one length of thread in I could so I did then our final whip is big old Mac daddy mama's house boom I did put in some more white in the flag now that you can tell or see it I hate I seriously hate working the white um, so I <laughs> the flag is done in DMC silks and 
when I first started using them, I was like, oh, they're so soft. They're so silky. It's wonderful. Ooh, ah. Now I'm like, these silks suck. Like, I am so spoiled on most sale now. Like, DMC silks are terrible. They're, sure, they're soft, but, like, they fray so much and just poof, turn into little fluffy, just, ugh. I hate them. I hate them. Um, gonna finish this flag with the DMC silks and then probably never buy any ever again because, ugh. Um... See, I put in some green here, and obviously some down here. <sighs> There's a fly in our house again. But anyways, yeah. So, spoiled on most sale silks. I hate DMC silks now. <laughs> but yes, got greens, and greens, and greens, and greens, and greens, and greens. This whole chart is like, I don't know, probably... 90% green or 80% green. Uh, I have not worked on this in a while, actually. When was the last time I worked on this? Um, October 29th. Um, honestly, don't see me working on this a whole lot coming up because of all of my new starts. This is my sitting in bed project because I keep it on a big frame and so I can sit cross leg and the legs of the frame sit on either side of my legs and I put my elbow on my leg and then this elbow on a pillow and I just boop 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 on the bed back forth back forth it's one of the few ones I don't stitch in hand because 22 count hardanger not not made for stitching in hand um <clears throat> and then obviously the 28 count, um, yeah, the 20, the Sims, <laughs> guys, not today, the Sims samplers, um, stitched in a knockoff Q-snap, um, but most of my projects I do in hand just because it's faster and I enjoy it, um, but yeah, anyways, the whole, what was I saying? That's usually my nighttime stitch, um, sitting in bed. But I normally only work one day a week, um, or every other week. And this week, I have worked almost every day. Um, and so my only stitchy time has been at night. So I've been doing my new starts instead of my normal nighttime stitching. Um, and so... Mom's house has not gotten any work this week. Um, and if they keep working me like this, which they said they're going to, then it's probably not going to get any work for a while. And I will keep working on my new starts. Apparently we're taking another doggy intermission. Taplu, start stop pulling on Coco's tail. She does not want to be pulled around by her tail. Miss Coco, if that bat's trying to pull you around by your tail, like it's your leash, my oh, baby girl. You poor poor thing. She's a poor poor thing. Um oh hey look. Can't really see it. Ugh, I'm like trying to get out the way. I finally moved my cross stitch stuff out onto my crafting bookcase. Um, it looks a little empty because a bunch of it's pulled out here already, but it's finally been given its own place on the crafting bookshelf. Oh man, I did not invite you into my lap again. He does not care. He made his way up anyways. Um, okay. But yeah, that's exciting that um, it's got its own space. It's out here. I used to have it in one of those jumbo reusable bags from um, <clears throat> Joann's. And it was overflowing and started, like the top corners started ripping because uh, I had so much stuff in it. So I decided it was finally time to give it its own space on the shelf. Little man. You're going to fall. Um, but yeah, so. 
That was it. Uh, next thing, this is usually where we would do haul, but I have no haul. I do have a new make, which is my birthday giveaway. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, I discussed this last time I wanted to make a project bag to give away, and I did exactly that. Um, let's see, what are our rules? You need to not use the word giveaway um, in your comment because we don't need the spammy uh, bot accounts finding us. <clears throat> you should use the word, I don't know, bag. I mean, we'll make it simple. Just put bag. That's fine. Um, you need to be old enough to give me your address or have your parents be willing to give me your address. Um, but as far as I'm aware, everyone I deal with is adults, so that should not be an issue. Um, you have to be old enough and comfortable enough to give me your address. I do not mind mailing internationally. Just understand international mail is very, very slow. It might take a while to get to you. Um, I do come from a house with dogs. So this project bag is coming from a house with dogs. The only dogs this bag has ever come in contact with are hypoallergenic dogs. That does not mean you won't be allergic to them because hypoallergenic dogs still produce allergens for some people. Um, <clears throat> so keep that in mind. Now, are we ready for the reveal? Ha! Look at it! Um, I'm not a professional seamstress. Never have been, never will be. Uh, but I've been making my own project bags and every time I work on one, they turn out better. And this is hands down the best one I've ever made. It's not perfectly straight. Kind of weevils, kind of wobbles. But still, this is the best one I've made. Let me get a little closer to the camera. I'm trying to scooch. I got a dog in my lap. Sorry. Um, and so it's got... It's just some sewing fabric that I've had for years and never knew what to do with. Um, I make and sell custom dress forms for people. And a customer had ordered one with this fabric. And so I bought like five yards of it. And then they changed their mind and chose a different fabric. Um, so I've just had it sitting in stash for years. Um, so that is your back. And it's some sewing fabric. We got the vintage style sewing machine, some buttons, scissors, thread, needle threader, pin cushion, measuring tape, all that fun, cute stuff on there. Some embroidery floss. <laughs> Sorry. And then the front is vinyl. <clears throat> and the inside is a pink that I thought matched the fabric. And then... Nice big old zipper across the top. Um, this bag is, I want to say 14 by 11, if I'm not mistaken. And I will mail it out in a poly mailer or if I can find one, a little bubble bag. I don't know if I can find a bubble bag big enough. Probably just a poly mailer. But... If you, if you would like this, if you would like to win this, just put the word bag in your comment. <laughs> but, um, let's see, reading. What did I read? I have not been reading for Jack Squat. Um, I've made it through like a chapter and a half in Mock Diver. Um, I made it through explicit warning which was a very sad chapter um then halfway through the next one um ben sent me the next chapter in his vampire book which was phenomenon there were redneck fae and i live for it like backwoods georgia redneck fae how amazing is that um beautiful watching we have not been watching much of anything um our stuff 
has been acting funny like the app that we normally that we use the most on in, we have an amazon fire stick and the freebie is what we use the most of and it's not been working um so we've been playing like random shows on max but we've not actually been watching them we've just been letting them play for background noise plans let's see plans I plan on starting a bunch of new stuff. Ah, surprise. <laughs> um, this afternoon, I will start the Creepy Christmas Village sale. Um, that part's being released today. And then over the next week, I will be doing my new start November wheel. My birthday new start random wheel picker thingy. Um... <clears throat> this little lady goes for her haircut on Monday and then for her x-ray on Thursday um oh yeah I have like Thursday through Monday off next week Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday yeah so they won't be working me a bunch because uh, she's due on November 11th. So I took like a whole slew of days off in case she goes into labor early or late, I will be home. Um, the only time I will have to leave her is to take the kids to school or pick them up from school. Otherwise we will be together the whole time. Yes, we will. Um, yes, my sweet little Coco. She's my little Coco Pebble. <clears throat> Pablo's down there on the floor staring at me like those are supposed to be my loves. Where are my loves? Anyways, I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get this up before I go to work, but I don't know what time it is. And so that might not happen. Um, if you see this in the morning, then huzzah, I got this done really fast. And if you see this late tonight, then, um, you know, that did not happen. And I had to do it after work. <laughs> so, that's it for you. Love you, bye.